Hey everybody, welcome into this video. So let's take a look of how we can trade our tokens into another one. In this case, let's trade the USDT token into the VNV, the Binance token. So first of all, what you guys need to do after you have your MetaMask already opened is to locate your USDT token, which in this case is right in here. Now, once you have your USDT here, you want to select the option that says swap. Then this one is going to be asking us swap from. Let's select our token. If you want to, you can select the maximum option. Then you can select the swap to and select the token VNV. As you can see, this is the first one. But just in case that you haven't found it, just hit into the VNV and you might see it right above in here. Now, if you see the advanced option, you can go into the slippage tolerance that actually refers that if the price changes between the time your order is placed and confirmed, and the swap will be automatically cancelled if the if the slippage exceeds the maximum slippage settings. If you're okay with that, just get into the two percent and go into review swap. Now in here, you have only thirty seconds to confirm your transaction. This is the estimate gas fee. We need to pay just the minimum amount in order to make the transaction. After you're okay with that, just get into swap. After you sign into the request, you can go into the activity section and you might see in here that your transaction is pending and it might be completed within a few minutes later. So in your assets, if you had a few tokens into USDT and you send the maximum amount, this one is going to be converting from N to zero. And if you go back into your BMV, you're going to be seeing that your tokens are not available in here. You should have known guys that in order to make this transaction, you need to have the smart chain network. Otherwise, you won't see the VNV token in your MetaMask account. You might be seeing the Ethereum account just in case that you want to make the transaction in here. So if you don't have the smart chain network, go into a new tab and look for the contract. If you select BSC to MetaMask, you're going to see that there's an article from academy.binance.com where you can add your Binance smart chain into MetaMask. You just need to scroll down and find this information right here. If you go into your MetaMask, go into Networks and add the network, you can copy and paste all this information right in here so your new smart chain network might be available for making the transaction. There you have it guys. Let me know if you have any question down below in the comment section. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more about MetaMask and Binance. Thank you for watching the video and I'll see you guys next time.